Neil Kukreti has made tens of thousands of dollars investing and trading in cryptocurrency over the past four years. But the 24-year-old is selling at least half of all his digital assets before new taxes on them come into effect. From April, investors will have to pay 30% tax on sales of cryptocurrencies and won't be able to offset any losses from one against profits from another. So that's how I will be managing, reducing my crypto exposure, getting more into stocks and forex, reducing the volume of trades that I am doing daily. And probably we will be seeing that in crypto exchanges in India, we will be seeing a decrease in volume because the thought process is pretty sim same. Introduction of a central bank. The government says a major increase in cryptocurrency transactions has made it essential to impose taxes. There are around 25 million Indians who own cryptocurrency, with up to $10 billion worth of assets being traded every month. The average investor is just 24 years old, and most have a portfolio size of $650 to $1,300. The founder of India's largest trading exchange says it doesn't make sense to impose the highest tax bracket regardless of earnings. So in India, you know, there are tax slabs where um, a certain uh, amount that you earn in a year is not taxable at all. You don't have to pay income tax. But if you are dealing in crypto and you make a profit, irrespective of your tax uh, bracket, you still have to pay the entire 30%, which is the highest uh, tax slab in the country. And that's something of a dampener for a lot of people. Raghav Gupta began investing in cryptocurrency when he was at university in 2016. The 23 year old's day job is running his family's carpet business, but all of his earnings are invested in cryptocurrencies. He's not happy about the high taxes, but relieved the government isn't banning cryptocurrency after it indicated last year that it would. I think they're an important first step. Uh, am I happy about them? No, I'm obviously not like happy with some of the particular things. But I think it's, we should like recall back in December, everyone was dead sure that this is going, right? They're going to force liquidation from all exchanges and they're just going to ban it. And that didn't happen. Many others agree with Raghav and say the taxes are too high and could push investors and businesses into moving their assets to countries with more favorable tax laws. But they also agree they're better than an outright ban. Elizabeth Puranam Al Jazeera, New Delhi.